Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today for a video that I'm actually really excited to film. I'm excited to look through this myself. I've seen this trend going around on YouTube to sort of review or take a look at TikToks of communities that you are also in, like, you know, beauty gurus reacting to beauty TikToks. And if you don't know, I am not, ironically, a huge fan of TikTok. Like I'd like to, I'd like to diss it in public and try to be one of the cool kids and be like, yeah, TikTok's so dumb, <laughs> but I actually love it. Um, my largest audience is on there, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And it's just, it's fun. I feel like it puts a lot of the fun back into content creation for me. It could go away tomorrow, who knows, but right now I'm enjoying it. So what we are going to do today is react to TikToks of people who are also amputees and people with disabilities. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this. I follow quite a few other amputees on TikTok, but I looked, I took a quick look at like the top videos of the hashtag amputee hashtag and I actually hadn't seen a lot of the people so I saved my reaction for going through this with you guys right here at first. If you don't know me, my name is Joe. I am uh, missing a meat foot, a human foot. It's replaced by a nice plastic one filled with carbon fiber. And here on Footless Joe, I like to make videos about my life and the aftermath of becoming an amputee, dealing with loss and larger subjects that I like to talk about. So let's have a little bit of fun today and go through amputee TikTok. I do wanna say for some of these TikToks, I'm going to have to blur out or replace the sound because of copyright issues here on YouTube. But if I have to do that, you'll get the general idea regardless. So I know how hard social distancing has been on you, so I have made you something I like to call the six feet cheat. <laughs> There's not even six feet, that's five. You're the six foot. Yeah, you... Okay, so if you don't know Rebecca McGregory, she is absolutely delightful. I adore her content. She's a fantastic human being. She's a survivor of the Boston Marathon bombing, lost her leg, and makes really ridiculous and silly, sort of like dad joke type TikToks. Rebecca, I hope you don't mind if I say that, but your jokes are just so perfect. I absolutely adore them. And frankly, I may have to build myself this handy dandy six foot cheat, but I only actually have two of these, so I wouldn't get too far with it. Anime's an important part of our culture. Oh man! Okay, so I didn't—I actually didn't see that coming. I didn't realize what was on his residual limbs. That is so badass and super cool. Like I definitely could not walk on just my residual limb like he is. That is so cool. All right, this is the absolute top TikTok under the hashtag amputee. Okay, so there's this trend going around with this audio that's like, who put the muffins in the freezer? This one's much better with who put the legs in the freezer. By the way, I know that Alyssa, the creator of this video, has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below. Go check it out, she's pretty cool. That's so cool. Do you remember years ago when the sign videos were everywhere on social media? I really like those. I think it's a great way of saying something and using your voice, whether or not you want to use your actual voice. Um, this is this is really awesome. I think that whole concept of feel sorry for people with disabilities or feel sorry for people who are amputees is very alive and well. And here's the thing. I think feeling sorry for someone is kind of natural. It's a, it's a human reaction, right? But it's also not a particularly helpful one if we examine it a little bit deeper. Instead of feeling sorry for someone, I think getting curious about their life, asking if you can ask questions, engaging with them as a person is so much more uh, meaningful and builds connection instead of just building a wall of, oh, poor you, let me pity you. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. I'm an upper extremity below the elbow amputee, and I'm gonna show you guys how I put my hair up with one hand. One of my good friends, Alexis, who came to stay with me, we did that visiting Ikea and trying to assemble a desk with three hands and three feet total video. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. But she showed me how she does this with one hand and it's actually pretty cool. So let's see how Michelle does it. So you start it. by taking your Invisibobble and putting on your arm, flipping your hair over. Getting all the bumps out. I'm going on a run, so I'm not really worried about it being too neat or too cute. Um, also, why I'm in my running outfit. Um, just want to make sure it's tight enough so it's not flopping around. Give a little poof. There she goes. Perfectly executed, Michelle. That ponytail looks better than most of mine.
Okay, so I've chatted some with the one-legged mama on TikTok. She's absolutely delightful. Hi, by the way, if you're watching this video, please go check out her TikTok page. Her TikToks are absolutely delightful. I believe what she has is called hip disarticulation, meaning she's missing all of one of her legs, and also meaning she is the best balance of any human I've ever seen. You can do anything you want when you're not disabled. Hi, I'm Max, and I went into the hospital thinking I had a sprained ankle, and I ended up with this. <laughs> All right, so the main question I've been getting is a lot of people have been asking, does it hurt when I walk, you know, with, with my legs off or whatever? Because in the video, it does look kind of effortless, but I mean, that's because it doesn't really hurt that much. Oh! <laughs> oh God. I, f I, f I, like, I can feel that when I watch that. I can feel it, like what it would feel like for me, and it does not feel comfortable, but obviously he's got it down. That's really funny. <laughs> That's the same stuff that they use to make uh, this part right here on my leg. Ooh, oh, that's awesome. That is so gorgeous. What a good idea for colors. Uh, the caption says that this is a water leg. That's pretty badass. Look at me, I put a face on. Look at me, I put a show on when I go. That's adorable. Yes. Okay, let's talk about these guys. Whoa. So this is my prosthesis. It's made by Didrick Medical and it's called the X Finger. It was custom made for me. Oh my gosh. And it is all metal and it's very light. So <laughs> can bash it on things. Fingers are plastic, so that's why that one's broken. But otherwise, it's really durable. And they even did it pink for me, which is cool. Um, so it's all mechanical, so there's no wires to it. And everything operates from input for my finger. This is so cool. So as I raise and lower my finger, it moves these rollers, which in return moves the finger individually. So all I have to do is slip it on, strap it up, and I have full independent control of my fingers. This is so cool. And if that's not the coolest thing you've seen today, then you're lying. I'll be honest, that is the coolest thing I've seen today, so... Yeah. And show. That's how I presently play drums. I'm really bad at music. Just at music in general. No skills. Oh, way cool. Cool. That's absolutely amazing. The perks of having a fake leg, part two. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Have a break. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, that's so that's so legit too. I'm not gonna lie, that is a serious perk of having one foot that you cannot feel. Walking on hot pavement or cement or walking over rocks. I had to do that the other day and uh, I was able to do it mostly with, with the, the foot that doesn't feel the rocks. <laughs> God. I can't imagine someone hiding my leg. I probably shouldn't say that on film because my, my husband's gonna see this and he's gonna do it and think he's funny, but don't tell him. Quick question. If someone stabs me in my prosthetic limb, does that count legally as bodily harm or destruction of property? Which one is it? Okay, but that is a really good question. If someone steals my leg, what does that account to legally? Like, like what does that add up to? Because that seems a little more serious than, uh, than like stealing a book or even a car, considering that this costs more than most cars. This prosthetic has got me into some awkward situations. How this works is there's a little metal ring right here, and if I twist it all the way to the right, it allows me to swivel my hand around. If it's in the middle, then it's locked. But if it's all the way to the left, then I can pull this hand out. So I go shopping and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt like this, so it covers up my prosthetic, and this looks kind of real. Well, it did until my dog got a hold of it and chewed the fingertips off. Talk about biting the okay, hand that Okay, you and me it. both, man. Uh, a, a dog chewed my prosthetic foot, so there's no way it looks real anymore. Or it just has some like cool scars, you know? Am I right? So I go through the checkout, put the bag in my prosthetic, and I bring my hand down. 
and I didn't realize that my wrist socket was turned all the way to the left. And the weight of the groceries popped my hand out of its socket and it was just dangling there. Now, I would have thought nothing of it, except I hear this scream. So I turn around and I see this poor little girl hugging her mom and she says, oh. Mom, his hand fell off. So I'm over here just trying to shove my hand back in as fast as I can and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to get some groceries, not send a little girl to counseling. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing. It happens though, stuff like that happens, right? It's kind of unavoidable. Uh, the closest I've ever got to that, nothing fell off, but I was at a grocery store one time with my eye walk, so I wasn't wearing a prosthetic leg, so you could very clearly see that something was missing. And this little girl came up behind me and was like, Daddy, her leg fell off. And it was, I just thought it was so cute. It was so cute and so sweet. Hopefully it wasn't actually scarring to her though. There is that. So the amputee community on TikTok is actually pretty awesome. I really appreciate my fellow amputee buddies there on TikTok, also here on YouTube, obviously. By the way, if you are on TikTok and you haven't already, I would love it if you would check me out there. Like I said, I really enjoy that platform. Hopefully it'll stick around. The US might ban it, you know, like I said, tomorrow. Maybe it's already gone by the time I finish this video. I don't know. But all I can tell you is I really, really appreciate the community there. I don't know, you just I just make stupid funny videos there that are very cringe worthy, but I love making them. So go check me out there. A huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you for supporting this video. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Thank you for making all of these videos on my channel possible. I really appreciate each one of you more than I can ever tell you. If you're interested in joining this Patreon community that we have, check out the link here on screen or down in the description down below for some of the perks that you might receive for being a Footless Show Patreon community member. To you watching this video, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. I truly appreciate it. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything, hopefully socially distanced, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me and I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.